Good morning and welcome to BTV, where we cover news for the students, by the students. I'm Mia Padovano. And I'm Sean Healy, here with Becton's January monthly news report. Happy New Year's, everyone. The Becton administration, faculty, staff, and students wish everyone happiness, health, and good fortune in 2022. Well, Mia, what do you think? Are you starting a New Year's resolution? Well, you know what they say, New Year, New Me, right? I think there's probably a few goals I can set for this New Year. Yeah, speaking of a new year, if you want your 2022 year to be memorable and unforgettable, then don't forget to buy a yearbook. Starting January 28th, the price will increase from $75 to $100. If you're interested in having your own page, recognition ads can be purchased. Any senior who purchases a recognition ad by January 28th will receive a free yearbook. Please see the Yearbook Google Classroom page or Mr. Machione and Mrs. Setembrino for further details. Wow, I can't believe Becton has been around for over 50 years. Our home has always felt like a special place. Over the years, freshmen through seniors come and go but leave an impression on our community. As we reflect on the memories, we were taken back into the past with the unveiling of Becton's time capsule. The event was hosted by our administration and fellow alumni who gave heartfelt speeches as we unveiled the findings in the capsule. Hey, I wonder if my ancestors left something behind in the capsule. Yeah, same here. Well, here's to making another 50 memorable years in Becton. This January 17th, the Becton students have the day off as our country reflects on the values and honors of the importance of Martin Luther King Jr. and the impact MLK left on each community throughout the world. He inspires and reminds us all that we should work together in unison, accept each other regardless of our differences, and come together as a nation. Speaking of love, this Valentine's Day, the freshman class and parent organization, PI, will be selling candy, flowers, and more to show someone you care about them. There will also be compatibility tests sent to all students, so be sure to purchase a copy of your results to see who you have the most in common with. Now let's head over to Vanessa Frank for this month's weather report. Thanks guys, Happy New Year. We did receive a white Christmas Eve this year thanks to a little dusting in the night. But as we head into January, we are expected to see more inches of snow coming our way in the next couple of weeks. With temperatures dropping to the low 20s in northern New Jersey and the high 30s in the south, we have a bit of light showers in the northwest, but it should die out in the next couple of weeks. Adding to the wind chill in the area is what's making our evenings very cold and icy. So be sure to add those extra layers, hats, and gloves when going to school. Be sure to have safe travels. I'm Vanessa Frank, and back to you in the studio. Thanks, Vanessa. It is a bit chilly in the studio today. Now let's head over to Miss Gatto for our wellness break. Hello, happy new year, everybody. This is the first wellness break of the new year. I'm Mrs. Gatto, and this is the Beckton Wellness Center. Since it's the new year, we're gonna discuss the tradition of making resolutions. What is a resolution? It's a decision to do or to not do something in order to accomplish a personal goal or to break a habit. Why do we do them? The start of a new year is a time when people look back at the past year, reflect, 
And then they just start, and when you start a new year, you're making an effort to improve yourself when, as the year begins. It's like a fresh new start to be the best possible version of yourself. Uh, but it's important when you make a resolution to make one that you can be successful at. It should be meaningful, it should be doable, it should be measurable, and it should be on a schedule. Devin, what is your New Year's resolution this year? My New Year's resolution is to improve on my current skills and learn a new one. Okay, that's great. What skill is it that you want to learn? I would like to try singing because I I'm not very great at it, and I want to improve on that skill. That would be a great thing. Now, the next thing you would be do, doing is like setting up a schedule where you maybe take a voice lesson and give yourself a goal or an outcome that you want to achieve. Yes. How about you, Sanfret? Do you have also a, yes. a resolution you'd like to share? My New Year's resolution is to get into a better mental health state. Oh, nice. To do that, I will focus on myself get better grades and do my work in time. That's lovely. Now, a good thing to do for yourself is like maybe give yourself the same five or 10 minute time slot every day in order to make a schedule or even just to meditate. That'd be really great. Yeah. My resolution this year is to not be cranky on Mondays. So what I've done so far is in the morning when I'm getting ready to leave my house, I listen to all my favorite songs. And so I gotta tell you, for my first Mondays, it seems to be working. So here's to all of you. I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, healthy new year. And don't forget to make a resolution that honors and wants to cultivate something great in yourself or wants to create a habit that's going to make you even happier in life. Thanks, and I'll see you next month. Thanks, Ms. Gatto. I feel more zen. Now I can go about my day feeling more relaxed and appreciative of the beauty of wellness. Now it's time to showcase this month's Teacher Features and Student of the Month, Carly Mafia. Mr. Joseph Maliak is one of two new math teachers and is ready to take on the role of bowling coach and math league advisor for Becton's 2021-2022 to school year. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey guys, my name is Mr. Maliak and I'm a math teacher here at Becton Regional High School. Um, I teach calculus and geometry this year. I'm also the head coach of the bowling team and I am in charge of the Math Honor Society and Math League. My story about teaching is actually a very interesting one. When I got into college, uh, I majored in math because it came naturally to me and I was also very interested in it, but I didn't think that I wanted to be a teacher right away. In fact, I didn't know what I wanted to be. So I started more towards a direct business type of use of math. Um, and afterwards, I got an interview for a job with a data analyst company. Um, it wasn't until I was offered the job that I actually said no on spot and I thought about why I said no because my mouth spoke before I thought and I realized that I want to do something with my knowledge that improves people's lives. I don't just want to be behind a screen all day. If a student needs extra help, I just want them to reach out to me through email and I'm available most after school. I'm available during lunch most of the time. Basically, whenever it, it's good for me and that student, I'll meet up for them. Define yourself. If you think that you're good at something, then be good at it. If you want to do something, then do it. Don't let someone else tell you what you can and can't be in life. Mr. Rivas joins the Becton Regional High School staff to teach business and prepare students for their future. Hello guys, I'm Mr. Rivas. What inspired you to become a teacher? Just wanted to, to help the future. Uh, I've seen how uh, some of our friends grew up and how they needed someone to mentor pretty much, pretty mentor them, so I wanted to be that. Being a business teacher, what experience in the business world do you have? I worked um, in the import-export industry. I shipped cars, relief goods, clothes, electronics all over the world. Have you taught any other schools before Becton? If so, what schools, and if not, what job did you have? I taught in Wannington and in Dwight Morrow. Any hobbies outside of work? Sports, baseball, I might spend time with my kids. And what's a fun fact about yourself? I've lived in New Jersey my whole life, but I root for all Boston teams. Hi, I'm Carly Mafia and I am January's Student of the Month. A very big 
personal interest I have that a lot of people might not know about is my interest in fashion. I know it might seem like secretive because I wear sweatshirts and leggings every day to school. However, I really see the art behind it, which a lot of people might not understand, especially like high fashion. And I really enjoy looking at runway shows and the art of putting them together. The extracurricular activities that mean the most to me are National Honor Society and Key Club, since those clubs were founded in philanthropy. Other activities, including Environmental Club, Multicultural Club, and Fall Club, also mean a lot to me, since I get to work with my fellow classmates on fun projects, learn new things, and become more involved in school activities. Lastly, being a part of the Becton Yearbook staff has meant so much to me, since I am able to capture a whole year's worth of memories into one book, as well as work with my fellow advisors. One of the most memorable moments in high school was my second National Honor Society induction ceremony. Since I was elected secretary of our NHS chapter at Becton, I was required to give a speech about public service. This moment was truly memorable since I felt validated for all of my hard work and academic achievements over the past four years. My future plans start off with applying to Rutgers Business School. From there, I would like to start getting my bachelor and master's degree in accounting. And hopefully from there, I will go to get my CPA and enter the workforce as a certified public accountant. I'm feeling very optimistic about my future, especially since going away to college is such a big change. And I'm really looking forward to it to start a new chapter in my life. I think the biggest obstacle I've overcome in high school is learning how to fail and succeed from my failures. Congratulations, Carly. Now let's head over to our field reporter, Anna Valinsky, for our winter sports update. Thanks, Mia. Hey, have you been noticing our bowling team this year? Their team effort hasn't gone unnoticed as the varsity NJV took the stage against Woodridge, Harrison, St. Mary's, and more. A special congrats to Leah Rodriguez for bowling a 178 to secure the second highest girls series in the league. We also say congratulations to Brian Batistas for bowling an outstanding 239 game in the Crusader Classic tournament with not one, not two, six strikes in a row. They're on fire. Keep up the amazing work. Go Cats! Did we mention that Becton's very own freshman team absolutely destroyed Woodridge 61-12? Some have said that this may be the best freshman Wildcat team since when Dick Vital was head coach. That is some high praise for the Wildcats. As we were on a holiday break, the Becton wrestling team was not. As Becton participated in the 46th Garfield Holiday Tournament, Jordan Stallone and Tommy Lee Manaya took the crown as champions of their weight class in the tournament. Can't wait to see what the future is in store for Becton Athletics. Way to go. Also, good luck to the Becton Robotics and debate teams on their upcoming competitions. In case you didn't know, this January 19th is Popcorn Day, but see if you can figure out these other fun January holidays with these images. Well, Becton, that's going to do it for this month's news report. Don't forget to save up for those Valentine's gifts next month. I'm Mia Padovano. Tune in next time, Becton, and have a jolly January.